This is it, Ethan. My dream. What? The, the snowstorm and being in front of the fire all toasty and warm. It's, it's always been my dream, and now it's, it's actually happening. There's no place I would rather be, nothing else I'd rather do. Well, what about being on a date with that guy you're crazy about? Well, yeah. But, uh, well, you must be starved. Well, I could eat. Well, I'll go get dinner together. What happened? Why are you crying? You're crying because you dropped caviar? Yeah, what else? Oh, come on, Teresa. There's plenty of sturgeon in the sea. <laughs> sorry, that was pretty lame. Well, lighten up, Teresa. I am really sorry, Ethan. I have heard that caviar is really expensive. It's no big deal, really. Now, weren't you saying something about fixing dinner? Yeah, um, I know you brought up all that fancy food, but I found some frozen shrimp in the freezer, and I thought if I could find the ingredients from Mama's Sounds rice... Sounds great. It is. My grandmother brought the recipe from the old country, and Mama says it goes back generations. Tell you what. What do you say we have a cook-off? We got some clams in the fridge. Give me an hour, and I'll serve you a steaming bowl of good old clam chowder. <laughs> and I'll stir up the shrimp and Spanish rice. Yeah, the perfect blend of two cultures. Well, we can't let all this food go to waste. Are you thinking raw oysters? With lemon juice? Well, you are in luck. You happen to be snowed in with one of the world's great oyster shutters. Oh, talk is cheap. Yeah, watch closely. It's all on the wrist. You're good. <laughs> Lemon? Here you go. Oh, ladies first. Thank you. Mmm. Good, huh? I can't remember when I didn't love oysters. <laughs> And, uh, for you? Thanks. Mm, thanks. That was great. <clears throat> Another? Oh, later. I've got some shucking to do. Clams fresh from the bay. You know, I'm gonna put together a clam chowder that Julia Child would be proud of. <laughs> Old recipes are terrific, Teresa. This rice is world class well your chowder took first prize hands and down well i vote both dishes get a blue ribbon and we call this cook off a draw well, i guess we make a good team i guess we do are you worried about something oh uh, gwen she was supposed to call me the minute she got home oh i hope she's all right i'm sure she is ethan Teresa. I know I asked you not to mention to Gwen that you were ever here. And I won't. What? I'm not asking you to lie. It's just... She was upset when she saw us together before I... Of course. And all those incidents were innocent. But still, she wouldn't understand. Her imagination would run wild and she'd end up getting hurt. I understand. And the last thing I want to do is hurt her. I want to protect her. I won't say a word. It's the least I can do after you're so understanding about my father. Oh, yeah. I know your father thinks Papa stole from him, but I, I am sure it was some sort of mix-up. Mama swears that Papa isn't a thief, and I'll never believe he could do anything wrong. I am... I, I'm sure he is as honest as Mama says he is. I know that, Ethan. Well, it's good you feel that strongly, Teresa. I'm just afraid of what will happen if he's ever found. My brother Luis wants to have him arrested. I hope for your sake that that never happens. I love him, Ethan. Even though he left all those years ago and I barely remember him, he's in my heart. Now, my father never left me, but I barely know him. It's understandable, I suppose. I was away in school when I was growing up, and every time I'd come home, he was busy or away on a business trip. I'm sure he loves you. You know, my father didn't teach me how to ride a bike or skate or make snowballs. He was Pilar. How well did she teach you? What? Well, how much did you learn? 
What are you talking about? Come on, we're gonna have a snowball fight. And I better warn you, I have a great arm. Oh yeah, well we'll see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to warn you, I play baseball. Oh, really? <laughs> well, watch out. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's really a picture postcard. Sneak attack! <laughs> of course you know this means war. <laughs> better watch. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Feel like a little girl. Oh, yeah. Hey, now. <laughs> Hey, you're lucky I took mercy on you. Death by snowball is a tough way to go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what happened? Well, that's a good old country power outage. It means the furnace is dead. It's electric. So that means? It means it's gonna get pretty cold in here tonight. Oh. <laughs> I like cold. Uh, I'm talking about around freezing. We're gonna have to sleep in front of the fire. I don't mind at all. That's fine with me. Well, it's just that, um... What? Well, I don't have anything to sleep in. I didn't bring any pajamas or anything. <laughs> Why would you? All you're supposed to do was to get me to sign those papers for my father, and you're supposed to head back to Harmony. Right. Uh, in the bedroom dresser, lower left-hand drawer, you'll find some pajamas. Great. I'm gonna load up on some logs. We're gonna need this fire to last all night. Okay. Wow, that's some fire. <laughs> That's some outfit. Well, they were the ones in the drawer, just like you said. Well, you're swimming in them. Well, they feel great on. Here. I made you some hot chocolate. The stove still works. It runs on gas. I love hot chocolate. It'll help you sleep better. Thanks for taking such good care of me. Uh, it's the least I could do. I mean, I feel bad enough you being here. Dad? Well, you're the innocent in all this. I mean, the only reason you're here is because you needed me to sign some papers for my father. I mean, I'm sure you'd rather be back in harmony with that guy you're crazy about. My guy, yeah. Yeah, you know the one you told me you have a crush on? <laughs> you can never have too many pillows, right? Um, when did you... When did I what? <laughs> you didn't hear what I said? No, what did you say? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, since you're uh, sleeping closest to the fire, you're in charge of the logs. It's really easy. If you see the flames getting low, you just throw another log on, okay? You're gonna sleep that far away? Uh, yeah. Won't you be cold so far away from the fire? Well, I don't want to crowd you, you know, after the shock I gave you when you first came in. You don't have to be uh, that far away from the fire. You'll freeze. Come on, you'll be much warmer if you sleep, sleep closer with me. Are you sure? Yeah, very sure. 